name's Cooper Spawn, and I am nine years old, and I have been going to Kid Life and Little Life since, well, since I was in diapers. <laughs> I was fortunate to be born into a family full of believers. I have been surrounded by the Word of God my whole life. My parents have read me a Bible story to me every night at bedtime until I could read on my own. My granddad and Papa Tom have also played a huge part in planting the word since I am with them four days a week. I am lucky that I get to be homeschooled and God's word is in every lesson. I have been taught the fruits of the spirit and try to interact with others by remembering them. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I, I think you could say I pretty much eat, sleep, and breathe the Bible. On May 3rd, 2021, my parents ripped me and my brother out of our beds because the tornado sirens were going off. We got to our safe spot in the house and things got really scary. There were weird noises, trees breaking, and then our front doors burst open and the rain came pouring inside. The storm eventually passed and we came out of our safe spot to find 27 trees down in our yard, but nothing else was wrong. We were lucky as some of the neighbors had major damage to their homes. After this very scary experience, I, really, I realized I needed a savior. So I started asking lots of questions and reading the Bible more than I ever had. I knew that I wanted to be saved and live my life for Jesus. Each time it stormed after that, I was fearful. So my parents and grandnan gave me Bible verses to look up about fear, and I memorized them through a P in those moments of fear. Isaiah 43, 5 says, Fear not, for I am with thee. And Psalm 56, 3, Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust you. I was able to find freedom from that fear through, the, through Scripture. But God isn't just helping me overcome fear. He's helping me grow closer to my family and love my little brother better. He's helping me grow closer to my friends here in Kid Life, and he's teaching me that I can be a leader as well through things like Next Internship, where I've continued to read my Bible on my own, pray, and learn how I can share that with others. I know that I'll face other storms in my life, but I also know that God's given me a great family, church community, and a relationship with him to help me through whatever I face in life. And because of that, I can help other people find the hope of Jesus in the storms they face in their lives. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lily Howard, and I'm in sixth grade at Union Christian School. I was born in Dallas, Texas, and lived there until just a few years ago. The move to Arkansas was hard at first. At first, I was excited to see my family in Arkansas more often. When it came to making friends and going to a new school, it was tough. Most days at school, I felt alone. I feared that I would never make any friends th through the, out the year. During these times, I would pray to the Lord. Psalms 34, 4 says, I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He, he delivered me from all my fears. God provided a really good teacher that helped me through the rest of the year. I learned that not everyone was a true friend. I had no idea what God would have in plan for me next, this next year. A new school, an awesome new teacher, and really good friends. I joined a basketball team, was loving mixed martial arts, and was now in 412, aka Youth Middle. Don't get me wrong, I am still in sixth grade and there is still girl drama. And I ain't want no part of it. The other night, I was at a sleepover and we started getting some prank calls and texts from the older girls. It turned into an argument that I did not want to be a part of. We could not calm it down on our own, so we prayed to the Lord for help. Matthew 21, 22 says, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. What I've learned is that Jesus will always answer our prayers, but it might not be at the moment. He knows when the perfect time is to answer it. <laughs> 